My lab is devoted to the construction of a minimal cell using a bottom-up synthetic biology approach. We take separate biochemical components that we bring together to mimic cellular functions and eventually to create life. We do not try to recreate the conditions that led to the emergence of life on the early Earth. Instead, the building blocks we use are already the products of cellular evolution, such as proteins, DNA and lipids. Our research activities revolve around three main topics. First, we use synthetic compartments, called lipid vesicles. They form the basis, or the fundamental unit, of our synthetic cell. The morphological and dynamical properties of vesicles are visualized by fluorescence microscopy techniques. For instance, it's possible to create vesicles that change their shape in an autonomous fashion. Second, we encode instructions for certain functions in a minimal DNA genome. We then try to convert the encoded information into a minimal set of proteins that can perform essential tasks such as DNA replication, cell growth or cell division. One challenge is that optimization and integration of multiple biological modules require exploration of a huge parameter space of genetic sequences and molecular compositions, which we believe is prohibitive to rational design. Therefore, the third key element of our research is the use of directed evolution strategies. We generate large populations of vesicles, each containing a specific genetic information. We screen the vesicles at high throughput using flow cytometry, and we select only the few vesicles that show the desired properties, for instance, the presence of newly synthesized lipids, proteins, or amplified DNA. Finally, we try to understand which bit of information has conferred a particular feature, something we call the link between genotype and phenotype. We believe that laboratory evolution of gene-expressing vesicles has the potential to create synthetic cells that, ultimately, can grow, divide and adapt to environmental changes in an autonomous way. This research is fundamental by nature, is curiosity-driven. However, evolvable synthetic cells have a great potential in biotechnology and medical sciences. They can, for instance, be engineered to produce compounds of therapeutic value in response to a particular stimulus directly in diseased areas of the body or they could provide a platform with novel diagnostic capabilities and even to create artificial organs and evolvable tissues.